Jason, only 15 more years until you can start collecting social security checks and uh, stop uploading shitty videos for 12 people to watch. <laughs> It's the day after my 50th birthday party, and it was the best night of my life. It's a little empty here today because all your friends are dead. <laughs> I wasn't really looking forward to the party that much. For one, I didn't want to turn 50, and two, like, I don't know, it's really hard to have, like, the whole night be about you. But then I had two tequila shots. One more! One more! And, uh, and I felt great. I even asked uh, a few people to give speeches because I'm a total narcissist, and also because I wanted to get a cool video for you guys. It was really great. I didn't see the speeches beforehand. I was really nervous about Todd's speech because he was in Europe all week and I kept texting him like, are you going to have a speech? Are you going to have a speech? And he was like, oh yeah, dog, I'll take care of it. I'll do it. So I was really nervous that he hadn't prepared anything. Uh -oh. All right, this is a little flashback, but I was first uh, introduced to Jason Nash to find that we're going to have to ask us to live our lives in six second intervals. And in those six seconds, we showcased the parts of us we were proud of, and we hid the parts we were ashamed of. In six seconds, Naveen realized Jason was old. <laughs> but actually, those six seconds didn't matter. She just had daddy issues. This <laughs> <laughs> to say, sadly, that the best version of ourselves isn't often the shortest. But with Jason, it's different. Those six seconds have rolled into minutes and days and years, and all I see are markings to love. Jay, you are literally the hardest, working and only 50 year old internet star I've ever met. In <laughs> I mean, you are my best friend over 50 and Aww. I fucking love you, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> the next one was Mike Sheffer. Mike Sheffer helps me write all the roasts. He's actually really funny because he's Jewish like me. Uh, David and Zangy famously not here. They're in Singapore for the Transformers premiere, which makes sense since they're trying to transform their careers into something people give a shit about. Uh, you have an assistant. Good job. Thank you. Uh, you have an assistant, Jess, who's been with you for almost two years now, and it's just so honorable that you provide employment for the mentally disabled. Jason, you are truly one of the nicest and most genuine people I've ever met, and I am honored and privileged every day to call you my friend. You have never failed to make me laugh 100% of the times that I see you, and it makes me smile every time I think about you. He makes you feel like you're the only person in the room, and that just means the world to me. Happy 50th, here's to 50 more. Susie was the next speech, and I don't know, Susie just means so much to me. I don't really know why you wanted me to do a speech for you. That everybody else in the front group kind of didn't want to, so I was like, I was your charity case. Because I know damn well that I was not the first pin for sure. Every minute with you is an adventure, and I treasure every moment of it because I know you'll be gone soon. <laughs> That's why it's a little empty here today because all your friends are dead. <laughs> I mean, even I, okay, Jason, are you really not gonna look at me while I'm making a speech for you? Natalie dropped the drink. No. Oh, Natalie dropped the drink. Now we're not gonna. So my dear friend, thank you for being an exceptional friend, for bringing so much joy and positivity into my life. Happy 50th birthday, Jay. Here's some many more years of happiness, love, and unforgettable adventures. The next speech was my mom's and everybody was just bawling after. Jason, welcome to middle age. That time when you finally get your head together and then your body starts falling apart. <laughs> You've never lost the wonderment of being a child. No wonder you still hang out with 25 year olds. On <laughs> the more serious note, thank you for all you do and continue to do. But mostly thank you for including me in your life and treating me like I'm your best friend. And if you think you know how much I love you, multiply that by infinity, then take it to the depth of forever. And you will barely have a glimpse of what I feel for you. I kept having to climb up on stage after each speech because they were so good. My hip was acting up. Okay, the last speech was Naveen. He was like, hey, I read this speech to some friends. Some of them said they thought it was a little too mean. And so I think maybe I should maybe cut back a little bit and take those out. And I was like, no, 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 don't take those jokes out. Please keep them in. They say 
the first thing to go when you get older is your hearing. So I just want to make sure, baby, can you hear me? Is the volume good? Second thing to go when you get older is your memory. So just to cover all my bases, I'm your fiance. My name is Naveen. You are very, very much in love with me and you're never going to leave me. <laughs> On our very first date, I asked Jason to be my boyfriend. Most people would have seen that as a huge red flag. But lucky for me, Jason's type is red flags. <laughs> Jason loves to say that I saved him, but the truth is, Jason saved me. I was traveling all over the world, going on yacht trips every other weekend. I was bound to get kidnapped or killed if I kept up that lifestyle. So thank you, Jason, for saving me and keeping me safe and locked up in Studio City, California. And Jason, I can't wait to spend our lives together, or your life together. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lisa. It was the best night of my life. I don't know if you guys ever had like all your worlds come together at once, but to have my mom there, and my son there, and my fiance there, and then to have all the people that I love there, all right, I'm going to react to these confessionals. This is the first time that I've seen them. Here we go. Are we at Jason's birthday? Did he pass away from old age? Jason, when I first met you, it was when we were both doing fine, and you remind me of six seconds, which is how long I can last with my girlfriend, with the fat ass. I never thought I'd have a father figure in my life, mostly because my dad never loved me. But when I saw you and our age gap, I knew I could look at you. Happy birthday, Jason, you splendid daddy. <laughs> dad, you're gonna cut this up, huh? You're my new dad. Jason, honestly, I love you so much. From the moment I met you, you made me feel so comfortable in this friend group. And we all know that this friend group is a tight-knit group, and I felt very nervous and insecure, but Literally, genuinely, not once did you make me feel out of place. You made me feel so welcome. You've always invited me to everything. Like, like not just Scott, you said Scott and Jack. And that means a lot because a lot of times it's just like Scott and your girl. That was kind of rude to all the other friends. But, no, but it very nice no, to you. Rude. They're but, all nice too, yes, but Jason, Jason is just rating. I love you, you're the best. You're literally like a grandpa to me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I love you a lot, dude. You are the most genuine, giving, best friend in your 50s. That's crazy. Well, honestly, I kind of like think of you as a dad, but a cool dad. A really cool dad that like understands me. I've known you since, oh God. John, give it up. You already went. I gotta, I gotta catch it up. I got, everyone did so good. Happy six, six, is this how 60, how old are you? 50, same shit. I mean, bro, you're at, at the point where it's like, you're past, no one's even counting anymore, man. I hope you have a great 50th birthday and uh, <laughs> more to- How do you really feel, John? What do I say? You say everything that you- I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't script it. Hi, Jason, it's me, your assistant. I don't feel it, more passion. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Jason, it's me, your assistant. I don't- Just act like no one's there. Yeah, that's really hard. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Hey, Jason! Second. Oh, no. Happy 50th birthday, you old fuck. From your assistant. I'm just kidding. I'm not an assistant, I'm a producer now. Hey, how you doing? We're reporting live from Jason's party. About four people have OD'd, but we've got ambulances on staff. So, everything's good. There's no problem. <laughs> we all fucking love you. Thank you for being the best boss. You make me want to be a better man. And I owe everything in my life to you and I want to be inside you, if that is possible. If Naveen is okay with that, edit in if she's okay with it. Brandon, it's not okay. Okay, she's okay with it. We're good. Wyatt, I can sing better than you, fuck you. No. Fuck your son. I'm just kidding. Wyatt, pursue what you're pursuing, you're crushing it. All right, Jason, we love you! <laughs> Drop the mic! Wow, thank you guys. That was really, you know, it's like, it's hard for me because I'm so much older than all of them, and sometimes 
you, you feel like you know you don't you don't belong with these guys because they're 20 years younger than me. And just to see everybody come out and say nice things and, and take their their night to celebrate me. Well, thank you guys. Thanks to all of them. And, and thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm I'm 50 now, so. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do YouTube for another 10 years, man. This is getting, you know what's crazy is people think it's weird that I'm 50 and I'm a YouTuber. But I think I need to push through and get to be and, and get to be when I'm 80. So when I'm like 85, like if I'm 85 still doing this, it's gonna be so funny. Like I think I'm gonna have like all the, I'll have like crazy clout when I'm like 87. You know, hopefully I'll have my funeral on here one day. <laughs> Please live stream my funeral. And, and I'm telling you, if you think it's good now, when I'm 50, it's gonna be even better when I'm like 80. I'm just getting started. The views may not be that high right now on this video, but wait till I'm like 88, wait till I'm 90, getting shot with a paintball gun. Then, then we're gonna have some banger videos. And Mr. Beast won't be able to do that. I'm gonna have Mr. Beast numbers when I'm 95. Coming for you, Eric. Just give me 35 years. <laughs>